So we can go and fight Somewhere we can go and fight Just together we could get a little lost in time Oh baby, there ain't nothing holding you up high So come along, I know there's somewhere we can go What is your go-to karaoke song? I want it that way. Backstreet Boys. Shout out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference between a muffin and a cupcake? Uh, a cupcake, you can do it in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, what are you reading right now? If anything. Are mm. you reading anything right now? Yeah, I am. I'm reading a book called uh, uh, Pachinko. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, by a Korean writer. All right. Is yeah. it in English? Uh, yeah, I think I'm reading the one in English. All right. Good job, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's Swedish. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I mix it up. Yeah. yeah. What is the worst household chore? Uh, ooh. I think like changing the um the bedding. Is it that? Is that what you call for like, like the? <laughs> the bed yeah the linen yeah it's so annoying the linen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite family tradition uh, I think birthdays we yeah, usually have big? like we're really close um, so it's me my sisters and my mother yeah. so we always celebrate birthdays together and we put on this like uh, happy birthday song in Arabic it's quite lit <laughs> so we dance to that and then like we celebrate so it's quite small knitted but I love it that's All right. beautiful yeah uh, do you have an alter ego? No, but I wish I did. <laughs> Find her. <laughs> Why Find would her. We call her? <laughs> what should I call her? Like Sarah G. She should be like, like some type of Karen, I think. Like oh, Karen. Like, Karen yeah, is not a good word in South Africa. I feel like she should be that because, like, sometimes in Sweden, like my white. In alter ego like comes forward. She's a bit annoying. Okay, she's okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. She's, she's, she's some type of she's Karen. Karen. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you an adrenaline junkie? Hmm. Yeah, I could say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Would you do all the skydiving, non yeah. bungee jumping? Oh, I would no, definitely do that. that. I haven't done. I haven't done I like it yet. My life. <laughs> yeah, I like my life. <laughs> I like experimenting in life. Okay, now you don't drink, so you're gonna nominate yeah. one of us to take the shot. Will it be gin or will it be wine? Hmm. So now you're gonna have to tell me which is what. <laughs> <laughs> the red one is wine. The, the clear one is it's gin. gin. And you have to nominate one of us to take it on your behalf. Okay, then let me just ask first. Like, which one do you like most? Wine, Thank baby. You. Wine you today. To my, the so manners kind. that you have. Booty pick gin, <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> um, or should we both take it? We'll both take. The we'll shot. both take the shot. <laughs> okay, I practiced a little something. Yeah. Hey, ok, welcome in. Till the Queen's Fortress, Med Yamoria Uk Sarah. <laughs> shout out to Lynn. Shout out, shout out to Lynn. <laughs> Lynn said, did we say it right? Did she say it right? Yeah, you said it right. Thank ah, you. I've been practicing yeah. all morning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Queen's Fortress, Sarah. Thank Welcome you. to the family. Oh my God. Oh my Welcome God. Thank to the you family. so much. Oh, and it's I love it. it. Thank Welcome you. to the Queen's Fortress, guys. Here we have Sarah with us. She's our Sweden poet. Our first international artist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, you do a lot of things. You're a poet. You're a short novelist. You're a speech pathologist. You're yeah. a... What else is she? Everything. A workshop facilitator. A workshop facilitator. <laughs> a guest speaker. Like, do you want to add more to the plate? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough. We will go on forever then. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> which, which title resonates most deeply with you out of all the ones that you have? Mm, that's a good question. I actually mm. had a very hard time even like um, calling myself a poet for a long time. Mm -hmm. And e like calling myself an artist or a poet it was like something that was quite like off-putting and I know many people like who are um like artists and poets especially in Sweden do have a hard time POC might I add have a yeah, hard yeah. time like accepting that yeah. yeah and I think that's because uh, um in the beginning they didn't even call me a poet they call me a poet, which basically mean like poet from the hood 
<laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> yeah, that that was like something I really didn't like yeah. because it it's like told me um, that I wasn't a poet in their eyes. I was just like someone they brought in. Okay, because because she looks like she's not white. Let's bring her in so that we look um, diverse. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they would go by that title a lot. And, and is I really that something like that. that's regular in the scene? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it happened like to my. I have a friend who also like um, had a thing. She was she was like had a. Um, um, like a talk where she was mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. invited to like read her poems and stuff like that and they also like in the newspaper wrote Faruj poet no uh, yeah. sis they, they <laughs> let's go protest <laughs> <laughs> alright yeah. so speaking of your career in the poetry industry you actually started with Slam which is similar to our story yeah. is there a reason why you chose Slam are you guys nurturing Slam in Sweden mm-hmm. uh, what was it Ochtens Pasta Poet yeah. am I pronouncing Uchtens, it Ochtens Pasta Poet what are the two dots that on you guys the have yeah. on the A. What uh, is that sound? That's ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What's yeah. the slam culture like in Sweden? Um, pretty much, n- I was almost going to say non-existent, but the thing yeah. is, uh, poetry is mostly written in Sweden, uh, mm-hmm. in Sweden. So like, if you go into the libraries, you always have like this shelves of a lot of poets and it's, yeah. Yeah. it's quite like, um, a lot of poets write they don't perform and mm. um, I think like the slam poetry in Sweden has gotten more common like the last years yeah, yeah, we yeah. do have some like competitions here and there but like I never resonated with that scene mm-hmm. so when Uta's Best Up With came I was like <laughs> this is for me. Utten, by the way, is like um, a short for Förut, which I told you, like they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a competition that was for people who like either live in the hood or like um, have some type of association there. To the, yeah. to the hood. Okay, so okay. the stories that you would see on stage, you could relate. Oh, yeah. yeah. That That's something beautiful. you actually spoke about with us, um, is not having a space where you see yourself in yeah. art, right? Yeah. And I want to know what was the importance of that when you were starting out as a poet, to see yourself in work? Mm. Yeah. Um to see myself like I that's maybe why I started like listening to English poets first and okay, like yeah, I was yeah. like on YouTube a lot listen to both uh, button poetry and like those yeah. channels Didn't you know all start there we all start <laughs> <You> there <did. laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so like it started there and then I like could uh, when I saw people who looked like me or like looked like the, like the people who lived around me like I grew yeah, up yeah. in Arfarut in Sweden like people are from all types of countries and mm, there's like yeah. so much culture and so diversity much, so much so much diversity and mm. languages and everything you know so when I saw people who looked like that I was like oh my god that's like that's my best friend you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that's like why I started like going into like English yeah. and spoken word I felt like it was a per- like a performance and it was an art form that was like Mm. Something yeah. that called out yeah. when, <laughs> when you speak of a lack of re- representation in mm. Sweden, yeah. which parts of yourself are missing from the picture? Is it the color of your skin? Is it your religion? Which parts of you do you feel like are not being mm. represented? I think like everything. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, I'm just going to wrap that up and tie it up. <laughs> everything, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we, we are a lot of poets who have like these stories like from, from Förorten or, the, uh, or Orten. Like, we are like coming up there, but like I haven't seen those voices. Uh, for a long time so I think it's yeah, the last it years now that we're coming up there and, and you know that's really nice to see but before that it was really lacking like people didn't look like us but the stories that were told were also like I used to make fun of this a lot I was like yeah. oh, poetry is like just like flowers and like it's rainbows it's a privileged man's game yeah, yes, you know? yes. I was like, I it's <laughs> always flowers <laughs> like the sunflowers <laughs> and the daffodils yeah. right? and we yeah. are far from that yeah. <laughs> yeah but the funny thing is that I'm starting to write like that now mm. what I, changed? Mm, I got to scream <laughs> <laughs> I was on stage I like like I was my, my po- poems were so political and like really in your face yeah. yes. um, the journalist in Sweden would like describe it as like uh, okay but what are you like uh, punching up to the like the white people the, the people in power <laughs> what is this I was like because <laughs> you know but your energy seems so quiet I can't imagine yeah. that kind of poetry coming from you yeah when I'm on stage I, I, maybe that's my persona when I'm on stage like I'm a different that's person that's the Karen guys. yeah that's <laughs> no <laughs> hopefully not <laughs> um, speaking of poetry in unconventional spaces yeah. we went to go stalk you on 
social media. Oh, yes, bit. we do. And yeah. we saw that your poem is going to live in a museum for fucking yeah. 15 years. Your poem, Hannah Montana. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. fucking that's brilliant. Beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank that's amazing. So, much. so that's like such an unconventional space. What other spaces would you like to see poetry in, right? Because like in South Africa, there's like the mix of poetry and theater. Yeah. We're starting to see a bit more of poetry and brands, corporate yeah. brands mixing yeah, together and yeah. stuff like that. But like museum, that's something so beautiful. Is there anything yeah. else you'd like to see yourself in? I actually yesterday saw that a, po- a poet called uh, Sarah, like me, but her yeah. name is Sarah Nazari, and she um, is performing on like the biggest stage in Sweden. We have like mm-hmm. a, this competition. I I think it's Idol or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. performing there. I'm oh. like, oh, wait, what? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she also had a poem like. Um, uh, as part of a commercial for the football like team in Sweden for EM when mm-hmm. they were playing and and you know to see poem poets and like poems go that like that, that far, far yeah. yeah that's like amazing what was the process of getting your poems in, in this museum, museum? and what <laughs> is Hannah Montana why Hannah Montana what's in it yeah Hannah Montana um, was a poem that I wrote into a competition that we had uh, in like the newspaper in Gothenburg the biggest yeah, yeah, newspaper yeah. there and uh, they had like a theme it was about like prodigies so Ooh. they told us to write whatever and i wrote the poem hannah montana because at that time i was studying uh, in um, the university of gothenburg yeah, yeah, yeah. and i was in i w- went from like the hood where it's like i told you like multicultural yeah. into the city into my classroom where i was like the only person of color the only muslim the only one with hijab you know i felt very like like a sore thumb you know i was like yeah. sticking, yeah. Out. sticking out yeah and I could see that not just like me being visibly like you saw me, but like uh, I always got questions that were like so like weird from from the professors and you know just disrespectful, yeah, nonsense. just very disrespectful. Yeah. And you know, I had a very hard time like combating my persona when I was in uh, um, a student like in the university, and when I went home, like yeah. I, I realized how different I was, how different I was speaking in, the, mm. in different rooms. So the poem Hannah Montana was like um, a way for me to like express how I'm like switching, like oh, Hannah Montana, you know, Miley Cyrus, and best. like uh, it's the, it's the world. world. <laughs> no, I don't know the rest of it. I, I didn't watch the that. Rest <laughs> So it was like the two sides of you. The two sides of me. And it's quite like, it's honestly uh, at the same time that it's like um, um, powerful to to express that. Yeah. I'm also ashamed. Like, why can I not be myself? Myself. Why why am I not like, why am I not Miley Cyrus? But some spaces squeeze you so tight. You just don't even know how to to breathe correctly, man. You just find yourself moving so differently because you're just so small in that space. Yeah. yeah. And the worst thing is that people always point out like how you speak. So in one line in that poem is like, I get complimented because I have like this perfect enunciation, you know. Oh the my Swedish. god, that no you speak well for a black girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, we go through the world. It's so um, funny how we from opposite sides of the world and we, we have the same stories. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The same um stuff. what does the scene look like now? It sounds like when you began your poetry in like your self in the poetry industry it was quite dark are you seeing a little more light are you seeing more representation yeah. do you still find yourself having to go back to youtube to find yourself in these poets no i'm definitely seeing a lot of change yeah um a lot of people who competed in especially that competition yeah. Yeah. are now like rising you see them like making these um this films of like this uh, clips of poetry and and movies coming together like people who make um, music like it's getting really like big and they're getting a lot of attention especially yeah. on so- social media yeah. and I'm loving that some of them also like have like published books and they're getting contracts with like these bigger um, publishers in Sweden so yeah. like yeah. it's going good there's just room for growth yeah. now that's yeah. Yeah. and, and you're that. one of the faces who are part of that change <laughs> yeah. so that's a beautiful thing yeah. to be a part of <laughs> yeah, really. guys excuse the grinding in the background these men won't stop so yeah. like just take it for what it is <laughs> take it for what it is <laughs> alright and speak Speaking of representation and speaking of the stories that are not told yes. and speaking of speaking for those who can't speak for themselves, this is a Yamoria Sunset. This is Victim's Apology by Asia Yamoria. Please enjoy the poem. Victims are sorry too. Shame is swallowing what is left of my tongue. I am reminded of tombstones in the ways reflections respond. I am drowning in what is left of the air. 
I'm six feet underwater and begin to confuse my breath for seaweed where anguish makes a home of your eyeballs and, and your skin, skin is peeled back for seasoning, remember. Woman is synonymous with hers. When your feet are bought, you remember. Tomorrow is luxury for women with graveyard for mouth, remember. Victim and apology both bloom from the same poison tree, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wear my innocence as an appetizer. Maybe next week the sky will be more willing to devour his skin from beneath my fingernails, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I deface satin sheets. Spitting virtuous evils with the devil, I'm sorry. I'm sorry the wind came bearing no lyrics. I swear we compose melodies of no or stop or no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't dictate the seasons. Autumn came too soon, smuggling, breaking in our pockets. Autumn, darling. How do you answer to God when your own skin forsakes you? Say sorry. Say sorry you flaunt your depression as jewelry. Oh human, little girls with sunburns are not worthy of pearls. I'm sorry. I'm sorry today's wave speeched in my dignity for questioning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry my weeds are unearthing this pavement. Rage never did bloom as a pretty flower. I'm sorry. I'm sorry my mouth is not built for housing thunder. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the wind came bearing no lyrics. Little girls with sunburns are not worthy of pearls. No. no. Stop. Stop. No. No. Autumn, how do you answer to God? Your skin has forsaken you. Autumn, how do you answer to God? You flaunt your depression as jewelry. Autumn, how do you answer to God? Your own skin has forsaken you. Autumn, say sorry. I'm sorry I haven't learned to breathe in a body bag. Welcome back to the fortress. Hey. We are still here with, how do you say it? Is it Sarah? Well, it depends on which, uh, which language. Your English, language. Uh, the mother tongue? tongue? Correct mother pronunciation. Sare. Sare. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's okay. mother We're here with Sare. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Queen's Fortress. That was Victim's Apology under the, se the series Yamoria Sunsets. Okay, Sare. 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 <laughs> Ooh, girl, don't play me. <laughs> We're now going to play a little game with you. We're going to throw you under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, here I have 10 questions. Yeah. They're the randomest questions about our two lands. And okay. we're going to see what you can get right. Okay, shoot. Be free. Don't be scared of losing. But losers take shots. So somebody's going to have to take a, a shot, shot for you. Behalf. So think about the person who has to take the shot. <laughs> so I won't be losing like at all. And the pass mark is 70%. 70%. We don't accept average. 50 is average. Yes. 70%. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> all right. Question one. How many capital cities does South Africa have? It's between one and seven. That's my clue. One. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad start, Sarah. <laughs> we have three capital cities. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Question number two. More than half of Sweden is covered by what? Is it forest, water, or desert? Forest. Yes. Yeah. Okay, number three. Sweden, in Sweden, which Disney character is more popular than Mickey Mouse? Elsa? No. He's on Disney. And I'll give you a tip. He's a he. He's a what? A he and he's an animal. He More animal. More popular than Mickey Mouse. Uh, oh, the Lion King maybe. It's Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's your guys' thing. I was oh like, my God. why is Donald Duck your thing? I don't get it. I don't approve of this message. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, South Africa is the largest producer of what kind of nut? Think a deep. Random one. Don't just say peanut or like these soft ones. Think like deep, soft people nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Are we My giving first, I was just going to say what, like, what no, came to mind. Okay. <laughs> no, but like I was having a, a latte when I came here the airport. I had a hazelnut latte. What? It's macadamia nuts. Oh my God. <laughs> but I like you're close enough. Hazelnuts are soft people. <laughs> 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 All right. Five, the, pra the practice of taking a recognized work break twice a day in Sweden is called what? Fika. Yes. yes. I'm moving I'm there. Moving. Yeah, I'm come. moving. Yeah, like, come We don't rest like, you know, you get that 30 minutes for some tea. <laughs> and you get five minutes to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> we need Swedish Fika. Like, we do you guys really just take a break? Do you take a yeah. nap? Or you just no, chill? No, 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 no. We chill. Like, we have coffee and then we have, like, some, like, maybe cinnamon bun or... Oh my gosh, I'm leaving yeah. South Africa. I'm leaving. Yeah. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number six. Mohoru is a South African delicacy consisting of what? Is it stomach, hoofs, or eyes? Eyes. 
No, <laughs> you have man. to go for it. <laughs> you have to go for its stomach. <laughs> it's like cow or like sheep stomach. I should have okay. told you whatever you're gonna say is in the kitchen waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Please try Mukhodu before you leave. Yeah, should we? Should we? Yeah, like, tell them. Make yeah. that happen. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, number seven. True or false? Sweden is the biggest Scandinavian nation. Come, Sere. Oh, he's giving me the Come answer. Sere. <laughs> no. <laughs> true or false? Uh, th- th- false. No, it's true, 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 true. I mean, true. I mean, true. True. <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay, number eight. South Africa's nation is often referred to as what? Is it a native nation, an African nation, or a rainbow nation? Native nation. No, we're the rainbow Sarah nation. Sarah just wants us to Sarah. get into it. so good, you know? <laughs> they call us the rainbow nation because of like the diversity that we have in oh, terms of the people. Ooh. Yeah, so we're the rainbow nation. The rainbow nation. Yes, yeah. Man. Okay. Uh, number nine. South Africa has how many official languages? The numbers between one and 20. Sorry, I will, I will think. max, just so you think. Know. Okay. <laughs> 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 Don't be embarrassed for me now, okay? Yeah, 15. Girl, we're just playing. Almost. Almost. It's we 11. have 11. 11. 11 okay. official languages. And your last question The world's highest number of what fast food restaurants are in Europe exist in Sweden? So, like, in Euro- yeah. Yeah. yeah! So, you know. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, Give no, someone Sarah. your shot, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you giving your shot? No, she's got to take the shot. Because you see, I nominated myself for the first one. So you're making me... T- okay. Yeah. Okay. The okay. shot okay. is yours. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in 2020, you self-published your debut novel. Yeah. And this was Bakom Hogis. Yeah, Bakom Hogis. We have it ah! <laughs> Can you pick a random page and like yeah. read something out of oh, it? Oh, I will do a better thing. Okay. I'll, you tell me a number and then I'll open up on that number. Let's 37. go 11. 11, because she got 11 official languages no, wrong. But yes, we're is reminding better. her of her mistakes. Fine. Sarah, 11. <laughs> 11. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> you see the choo choos. Let's hear Give it. us a piece of Hannah Montana. Should I read it in Swedish? I do have the English translation. Read it in Swedish. In Swedish. Girl. Yes. You can just pick any paragraph. Jag lever som Hannah Montana. Det dubbla livet. Den som spenderar halva löningen på Espresso House och den andra på Lidl. Jag är ditt lokala förortsbarn i centrala stan. Som rättar till sin svenska för att passa in. Använder komplicerade begrepp och får komplimanger för att jag artikulerar fint. Men i orten är mitt språk förenklat. Kanske för att livet här är komplicerat. Jag tror på mångfald men förlorar mig själv till överlevnadsinstinkterna som säger vad assimilerad. Jag är tacksam, men jag hatar tacksamhetsskulden. I swear, oh. you made a track with that on it. I don't even care what it means. <laughs> Have you ever dabbled in music? <laughs> no, I haven't. You should I think, think you should play in music. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Have that you noticed how your voice actually changes? changes. Yeah, between your po- yeah no. I know that, yeah. Please no, there's name. definitely an alter ego. There is an alter ego. She's Not just a like Karen. fighting to come out. <laughs> I, let's really <laughs> carry <laughs> that. This is like Karen is cancelled. This is Hannah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Please show your baby to like the camera. Yeah. So that is Bakom Hogus. This and is Bakom Hogus. Bakom? Bakom Höghus. Höghus. Mm, you okay. have that dots <laughs> over here again. <laughs> okay. And this is Sarah's first self-published debut. And it loosely means behind high-rise buildings. Yeah. yeah. Can what you is the image? Picture? Yes. Yeah, so actually this is like supposed to be... The cover is made uh, by a South African artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her name yeah. is Nontokozo Chabalala. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, she was like... I. Um, she was studying arts in Sweden. I think I think she's like still there. We're friends, yeah. mm. so I asked her to do the cover for me, it's and I beautiful. told her to um, have a picture of like a building that's close to where I live, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then it's supposed to be me like Can looking I up to that? the building. Yeah, of course. Oh, that is you. Because so what is what happening <laughs> behind? <laughs> what's happening behind these buildings? What is in this book? Yeah. So like uh, in Farutten or Utten. Mm-hmm. Um, um, 
the it's like the sim the symbol of the uh, orten is like the tall buildings okay. Yeah. Okay. because okay. people live like very close knitted there are a lot of families in small apartments mm-hmm. yes. so that's why the buildings are so high to like have room for these many families you know uh-huh. so in different uh, areas in sweden the apartments would be lower or they were living in villas and like you know mm-hmm. um so that became the symbol of uh, orten in sweden and yeah. um we really have a very bad you know media representation it's always mm. like bad news and i wanted to like talk about what's behind these buildings, buildings. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. what can, yeah. can people these where can people get this first of all like can we get it in south africa do you ship do you courier like uh it's <laughs> <laughs> it's sold in like the Swedish like uh, um, bookstores yeah. online and like uh, in like a real store, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah but um, I could make it. Congratulations! That's big for a self publisher. And I know you self published. Why did you choose to do that? It wasn't actually a choice. Mm. It's like um, it was very hard for me to find a publisher who would like accept me and my poems as they were mm. because I went to different interviews and they wanted to like they were like you're great but please let's like edit this. let's edit let's yeah. remove that poem that's a bit too stereotype what uh, exactly were they running away from in your poems mm, they didn't they had this picture of like who I should be as a mm. faruch poet you know um and they wanted me to be in a certain way and they for, felt like okay but we already heard these type of stories yeah. and your poems are a bit too direct we'd like the abstract like the flowers yeah. and the dandelions you know <laughs> let's just water it down <laughs> yeah mm. so they were like oh you have some great abstract poems Bad. in there could you do more of that mm-hmm. i was like of course i could but i want to publish this one because what's so special about uh, that book is that I wanted to put down all the spoken word poems that I performed on stage in a book. Mm. Oh yeah. Because we don't have a lot of like spoken word, you know, written down. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that I, I thought it was like a very nice thing, uh, especially after the competition Utnas Besta Poet ended. Um that was also like a whole thing. It was like because of financial Pro- it, it was like the biggest competition in Scandinavia, yeah. but even though like they were not, um, they didn't want to fa- finance it, you know. Yeah, yeah. still didn't survive. Yeah, so so it was like taken down. I was like, I want to like um, in some way um, keep these poems to remember this era. Yeah. yeah. And what was the That's journey beautiful. of self-publishing? Was it difficult? Um, do you prefer it over going through a publishing house now that yeah. you've done it? Yeah, I'm really happy I did that. Mm. I didn't do it alone. It's brave. Yeah, <laughs> it's so oh, brave. It Thank brave. you. Mm. I did not do it alone. Like I had help from another po- poet from Stockholm. Her name is Mariama Job, mm. and she al- also like self-published. So she helped me a lot. And mm. you know, um, it, we are like that. That com- that po- poet community yeah. we help each other a lot we actually know? spoke about that with Pussy a lot in yeah. our episode with her about yeah. being a community about offering up your couch yeah. about just being you know answer the DMs when someone needs help yeah. Yeah. you know just offer yourself and offer your space and offer these kind that. of spaces where we yeah. can have these kind of conversations yeah. Yeah. so that's yeah. beautiful so shout out to you more Thank stalking you. news <laughs> 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 you were on SVT culture for like some television thing yeah. and it was the what was it the angered am I saying it right is it angered or angered? Angered. Oh, because yeah, I was way off. Oh, but everyone in the are like, what are you angry <laughs> no, about? We see, we see angry and red and yeah. we put it together and, and we're like, like angry. <laughs> and we're like, this is just madness. <laughs> what is that experience like for you? Um, so I'm like, I'm from Angered, which is... Um, so uh, in the city center, outside of the city centers, yes. we have like different areas who are like Uten. They are usually on the outskirts. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And Angered is one of those on places. The outskirts. On the outskirts, yeah. 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 And there's a lot of nature there. So that's why I really, I really wanted to do that interview to like kind of show them like, hey, listen, guys, like this is the nature. I know we talk about this, this, is high, what's up. this tall buildings and, you know. Um, all these like uh, apartments but we also have nature like yes. come and record that come and show like the diversity did they showcase it the way you had it in mind I think they did in that interview yeah uh, they did I was happy about is that. it common to see poetry living in such spaces you know on cultural news channels and things like that in Sweden uh, both yes and no mm-hmm. I think it's getting more like common mm-hmm. uh, but poetry is not that big in Sweden to be quite honest are you serious yeah 
what is the reason for that? Is it that people don't want to consume the content? Is it mm. that you guys are not putting yourself out there enough? Is that people are afraid to put themselves out there? Mm. What What is the reason for that? For the mm. lack of poetry? I think that people are really interested in rap culture. And yeah. we, like if you look at the uh, top uh, um, 100 on Spotify mm -hmm. from Sweden, like it's all of these rappers. But I'm from telling you, Hannah Montana should be a <laughs> rap song. <laughs> I'm trying to tell just you. Just get Sarah. a fire beat from somebody <laughs> and just go and spit some bars. <laughs> I, I take it you, to the top 100. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of some more stalking yeah. news, uh, we saw another face of yours that you a graduate and you graduated Can't in graduation. Thank you. Yeah. I'm graduates. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so with your speech therapy, are you trying to marry your speech therapy into your poetry? Is there any link between these two worlds that you exist in? It, there is a link. Uh, when I was uh, like um, um, preparing myself into that competition, Utas yes. Besta Poet, mm -hmm. I actually performed in front of my like classmates. <laughs> 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 we had like in my, um, uh, what is it called? Like in that field, yeah. you yes. could work with voice. Mm -hmm. So we had like this um, this uh, teacher who like, was who told us to like stand in front of class and like exper uh, experiment with our voice. I was yes. like, I'm gonna read you a poem. Projection, ma'am. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, tell me what you think. And that's mm -hmm. like kind of like how they are intertwined. But honestly, my um, my work is more connected to like what I want to give to uh, to the children. You know, I want to work yeah. with children and the kids and I want to really give them um, a good <laughs> meeting with a like a um, speech and language pathologist. I yes. want to like mm. show families that being a, a multilingual family is very good yeah, and it's, it's not important. really yet yeah, important. Mm. Uh, and I want to showcase that. So that's kids what. are wild. Like yeah. good luck. So <laughs> wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you also facilitate workshops. Is this performance workshops, writing workshops? What type of workshops are these? Uh, it's uh, mostly writing workshops. Okay. Yeah. 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 So usually I try to like show them also like spoken word yeah. and I show them different clips and we watch different artists and then we talk about it. Like what did they do and what melody they use? What Like do they rhyme or not? Why? Like, you know, yeah. talk about that. But then mostly I would like try to make them write. So I give them a word and then they'll have to write around that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have something like a December poetry challenge where we kind of get like a prompt, whether it's a word or picture yeah. or something like that. We kind yeah. of write You should hop that. on because it exists on Facebook. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I'll actually okay. forward you the links yeah, for it. That. We actually just like, you know, prompts and fool around. Yes. Actually, a lot of our space, uh, a lot of us poets in South Africa also started with slam and workshop culture, you know, mm. yeah. to kind of challenge us and we mm. have to get on stage every month, you know, which kind of puts that pressure on you because yeah. now you're like trying to win the money. <laughs> is your kind of <laughs> money good it, your slam money is it good no <laughs> <laughs> but we do it anyways <laughs> yeah we do it anyways yeah yeah, um, yeah. all right um before we close up like give us a piece of sweden like you wear so many faces you know and like just give us one piece that an encapsulates of all of you and where you come from hmm. or where you are right now even yeah like a word it can be a, a phrase, word, a phrase, a word, a sentence, sentence, a song whatever mm. Sarah, you know, you, the you know the sound like in the background. <laughs> that man has been mad at us for I'm a long time. I'm with that. I'm with that person. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, I'll go with one word, mm. I guess. Um, content. Uh, yeah. Yes. What I'm is that in, in Sweden? In Swedish. Um, in Swedish, that would be like in Arabic. Woo! You guys are I'm like yeah, okay. Let's grow you. Bring out also the, <laughs> all the languages inside me. So, Mapsuta. Yeah. Um, Mapsuta. That's in Arabic. Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. And uh, in Swedish, that would be like Nöjd. Nöjd. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> try! <laughs> Nöjd. Nöjd. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So that's our word for the day is yeah. to be content. Yeah. Yes. That is brilliant. Please let the people know where they can find you. Please let them know where, where they, they can, can stalk, stalk you. you. <laughs> and where they I can swear find we your just work. kept scrolling and there's so much we don't understand. But we're like, okay. See translation. See okay. translation. See <laughs> translation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could find me on like Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where like I mostly post. Is yes. that Sarah? Carib? Sarah. <laughs> the thing is, is it Carib? it's Sarah Labera. I was like, Sarah, why you do this? I you don't can't know. Keep I up. don't know why you I do this. You so like, you could search off. for my name would probably like pop out mm -hmm. from the okay. first one. Yeah. And then on yeah. Twitter, Facebook, no, where are no. you? Like I'm, I'm actually a very private person, so I don't like. Don't put you feel like that? There. That hinders your art in any way. Mm. It could. But I feel like um, 
I'm very content with where I am. I'm nude. There's you know? that yes. word again. <laughs> Is that girl? That's word like too. Yeah. I'm like I'm happy with what I do, and yes. I don't want to like I want to have control. Yeah. Over what I do, I don't want like people controlling. You don't want to go through. And wind. once you put it on social media, yeah, it's out it's there, out there, it doesn't yeah. come back. So I don't want like I want to put out things when I'm ready, yeah. and I want to like if I want to showcase a poem, I will. Yeah. And if it only reaches two people, fine by me. Like I, my goal is not to be famous. Everything on yeah. your time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have Love any it. work on YouTube that people can stalk? There is, <laughs> there is some poems on youtube why are you <laughs> giggling is this something you don't want us to see because i'll search it right now you can search for it okay you know what? the first poems you do like i was so young there's a poem especially when i'm like in the tram I'm, like so confident and i'm like reading i'm checking that shit out today <laughs> yeah so like go ahead check that so out so that's sarah carib <laughs> yeah just search for my name carib Carib. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, that's G A R I P. Exactly. Awesome. All right, cool. We're going to stalk you some more. Thank you. So now you guys know <laughs> where to stalk Sarah. And if you want to stalk us, we are Fortress Queens on Twitter. We are the Queens Fortress on Instagram. And we are Yamoria across all, all social media platforms. Yes, yes, this has been beautiful. Can you link yeah. us to your poem? Like, just let people know what your poem's about and the translation and whatnot. Yeah. And just give it to the camera. Uh, mm. Which one? The one you performed. Uh, yeah. Before. Yeah. 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 So the poem I uh, performed before is actually a quite new poem that uh, I like you recently start to think a lot about my heritage and um, I've lost like many family members in the last like year or so. So I started to think like about that and eventually like I'm, you know, thinking about like my place in Sweden as being like very, we're very few people in my family who live there it's only me and my like family close family you know yeah. and we're all like just everywhere in in the world like us everywhere you know so i started to think about like how we um i'm on like the end of the branches on that tree so yeah. it came like about in that way and i was like some kind in some kind of way uh, mourning my grandparents and mourning like my um my wishes of like um oh it's getting emotional you know yeah <laughs> i was about to say you just opened a whole nother book that i want yeah. to dive into <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, guys, it's a beautiful poem. Yeah. It starts off in Swedish and then she then translates it to, to English. English. Please enjoy the poem Please so much. Enjoy that one. This yeah. is the Queen's Fortress with Jag har Jag har fastnat i släktträdets yttre kanter som sköra tunna pinnar, halvbrutna kvistar, men jag tillhör ändå stammen. Jag finns där i evighet som ett kon i öken sanden, som en skugga. I familjens fotoalbum och en stämma på kassettbanden. Jag saknar din varma hand. Jag ville alltid vara barnbarnet i din famn. Ville växa upp med dig i samma land. Döpa mina barn i era namn. Jag saknar allt. Både det jag levt och det jag aldrig haft. Jag saknar alla ord jag inte sagt. Alla frågor jag inte kunnat ställa. Samhoni. Våra modersmål blev aldrig parallella. Vi behöver ingen översättning. Smärtsamma leenden är universella. Jag skäms för att jag lider. Fäller tårar i persiska viken. Jag blöter ner lyriken. Jag hamrar på den sneda spiken. Vill inte glömma hemmet innan detta. Så jag sjunger med musiken. Till ord jag inte ens begriper. Jag saknar tiden. Innan kriget satte oss i limbo. Smaken av min första vinter. Hatar att jag börjar glömma. Jag håller hårt om radbandet jag ärvt och känner hur varje pärla ömmar. Inget jag gör kan hålla oss ihop. Vi är som spruckna sömmar. Som bort glömda drömmar. Jag har fastnat i släktträdets yttre kanter. Som sköra tunna pinnar. Halvbrutna kvistar. Men jag tillhör ändå stammen. This poem is called Rosary, and I was trying to translate it into English. Lost in the branches of my family tree, like fragile sticks, half-broken twigs, yet still I belong to the tree. I'm here for eternity, like a grain in the desert sand, like the shadow in my family photo album, and a tone on the cassette tapes. I miss your cool hand 
always wanted to be the grandchild in your embrace, grow older in the same land, name my kids in your name. I miss everything. I miss everything we had and what could have been. I miss all the words I didn't say, the questions never asked. Samhuni, for mother tongues never became parallel. We don't need translations. Painful smiles are universal. Ashamed of my pain. In the Persian Gulf, my tears rain. The lyrics all wet, hammering on a bent nail. Don't want to forget the home that came before. So I sing all the wrong words to our folk songs. I miss the time before war ever put us in limbo. My first time tasting a can of bubbling Vimto. I'm starting to forget, holding on to my grandfather's rosary, feeling how every bead hurts. Nothing can keep us together. We're like broken seams, forgotten dreams, lost in the branches of my family tree, like fragile sticks, half broken twigs. Yet still, I belong to the tree. Thank you. <laughs>